morning my subling family and welcome back to another video with me. Today we shall be doing an inspire video to inspire and show you guys on how to intuitively eat so that you can make lifelong healthy lifestyle changes. Having a good amount of knowledge about food proportions and information about food will actually inspire yourself to not just lead yourself to a diet in order to lose weight but will also help you be intuitive on what you eat to lead yourself to a good lifestyle change so first things first when you want to intuitively eat and want control over the types of food that you want to put into your body you need to know these logistics to further understand proportion control a little bit better i know i've talked about these a lot in my past videos but first things first you need to know what macronutrients are so these macros will tell us in a certain type of food on how much carbs fats and proteins there are and these are the calories that are within carbs, fats and proteins. It is usually very good to have an equal amount of these three within every meal. With everyone, we can't always do that. Sometimes we will have more carbs than protein in one meal, then we can swap and slide. So this is how learning how to intuitively eat will help you on the long run. But within starting this, it might be good to calculate the amount of calories that you would want to intake throughout the day. Within those calories, you can set yourself up with your macros. What is brilliant with intuitively eating is you don't have to follow these macros precisely, but it's good to have an approximate to keep an eye on where you're going at throughout the day. Before you ask, I know you're probably thinking, how many calories is good for me in a day? You need to decide whether you want to maintain your current weight or would like to be on a slight caloric deficit to lightly shed some pounds. So your maintenance calories can vary in between these. For example, my maintenance calories are this. So my maintenance calories would be around about this level here. I know it's quite low, but you've got to think I'm quite petite size-wise and genetically I do have quite a low metabolic rate. But because I am trying to healthily shed some weight off, I am around about this. So I'm on a slight calorie deficit. These are my current macros and they have been for a while. I give you these as an example. I don't want you to be copying them. If you think that you've got the same, like you've got the same body shape, weight, height as me, it's everyone's different. But what I can tell you is that you can start off your macros by setting your protein goals the same as your current weight. Then try to calculate your carbs and fat ratio from there with whatever calories you have left. Once you've sorted out your calories and your macros, then we are going to head on to knowing about serving size and proportion sizes. Getting to know how much macros or calories is in serving size will be one thing to lead into intuitively eating. The back of nutrient labels of any type of food will actually be your best friend. Everything, it'll tell you the amount of carbs, protein and fats in, within that product and how much one serving size is. The key to intuitively eating is actually to know how many carbs, fats and protein are within that serving size, within that meal. This will get your journey started. Here are some examples of some serving sizes. is no need to measure every single type of food that goes into your body but it's great to do it at least once for every type of food so that you know visually how much you need the next time to get that same amount and presto you know you're going to be intuitively eating so here is a prime example on how i prepare my meals first i pop in the carbs then the protein and then all i need is just to add in the extras like the veggies and the sauce let's not forget the sauce because who doesn't love a meal with sauce, you know? So this meal, three times a day, plus some snacks in between, it's perfect. A good lifestyle will be about being able to eat intuitively. Not every meal has to be perfect and have an equal amount of ratio in macros within that meal. You can switch them by, that's what's great about intuitively eating. So if you happen to have much more carbs within one meal than the next meal make it all protein balance it up throughout your day and intuitively think on what you can eat it's great to be exact if you want perfect results and you're on a strict diet but at the end of the day tracking every single thing that you eat can be quite tedious we all want to get to a point where we're comfortable in not counting macros or calories one meal here a lot of carbs micronutrients 
protein and fats together. Nice balanced meal. Him too. He's kind of trying to carb load. Okay, open the door, please. Okay. Hat 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 hat. Bye. Me too. Whoa, look at mine compared to his. Whoop. I am on a slight deficit on my carbs. That's why I've got two burgers, but only three buns. So this one's gonna be like that. And then this one, I'm just gonna eat like toast. Oh, that garlic bread, baby. Two portions of carbs, two portions of meat. Three portions of carbs. Oh, 120 carbs in one meal. This is gonna be dinner for tonight. Got chicken, and then we have a stir fry of vegetables. Got peppers, red onions, mushrooms, and some plum tomatoes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then we've got this one with like the chicken for tomorrow as well. Yeah, so basically because that's not enough carbs for me, I am going to be putting like a small handful of chamois noodles to stir fry that in tonight, which I'm very excited for because I do love my chamois noodles. The deal here is that noodles can be quite high in carbs, no matter like how small of a batch you go. But I try to not put too much in. And for me to think that I'm eating more noodles, so I kind of I kind of boost my veggies up in that area. So I am getting plenty of micronutrients. You know, you're getting those vitamins, also the fiber, which is great for a healthier body. It's great to know that veggies are very, very low in carb. So bulking that in your meal alongside with a heavy carb is an illusion to trick your mind in real but in reality you're actually getting like a very very small handful of noodles and more nutritious veggies in the end it's led me into a better lifestyle on how i eat so i thought i'd share with you guys this lovely lovely trick you know like it smells good even if you don't want anything more in that like just even eating it by itself is great. I measured anything for this, but if I were to approx approximate, I would say this is probably like 15 carbs. And then this portion of chicken, which is around about a palm size of chicken, I would say 20 to 25 carbs, uh, protein. Later on, I'll probably add in noodles, which I'm only putting a very small handful, which will probably be around about 30 carbs. Adding this 45 carb meal, which isn't too bad. And then a 20 to 25 gram protein meal, which is perfect. I don't measure it all the time, but it's kind of stuck in my head that these are those macros. And whenever I calculate them approximately throughout the day, it gets me through. So like I could be over, I could be under, but it doesn't matter because I'm enjoying life. So as I said before, it is great to measure at the very very beginning and be precise and then as you go along you'll learn your ways through food and the macros towards them and then you'll eventually be able to intuitively eat um, all by yourself and not rely on my fitness pal or rely on the ski your life is not does not revolve around the scale I hope I have inspired you guys on how to be better at intuitively eating by learning about food proportioning and what you put into your bodies as well because sometimes it's good to kind of ask these questions of how much fat are you intaking into your body are you over carbing are you even getting enough protein it's great to know how many calories you're getting in an intake but it's actually be much much better to actually know what type of macronutrients you're getting into your body because at the end of the day balance is key so guys this is the end of the video if you haven't already guys don't forget to subscribe click that notification bell if you haven't already and i will probably see you in the next vlog guys Bye!